Where are you going, Colin? Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. I uh, traded a combine seat for the Swather seat. Gonna take the Swather home. We got some hemp to cut. Stuff is uh, getting eaten up by grasshoppers pretty quick, and uh, there's not enough grain to justify a combine it. So we're gonna go swath it and bale it up the fiber, like we kind of had planned. But we we're gonna combine it first and then bale the fiber. So let's take the uh, backward swather home. This thing's confusing because when you're swathing, the radio's on that side, but when you're growing it, the radio's on that side. And yes. I went to town today and got a haircut. You get done seeding, you get a haircut. You get done harvesting, you get a haircut. Not really sure what event of winter justifies a haircut, but you get one or two of them in there too. All right, so we're here. Pop this up. Oh, we're gonna kill it because something wasn't in neutral. Oh well, so flip this up. Turn your steering wheel. Stuff out of the way on the floor. all the way around and latch it back in. So my plan is to use that draper belt that's underneath, run it through the crimper, which will break up the stems a little bit, and then shoot it to the side so I can bail 60 feet at a time instead of 30 feet at a time. But, like all great plans, not all work out. See that dark line, draper belt? Not supposed to be like that. I think we're gonna run to the shop and fix that. Well, we ended up getting a little bit of that hemp swath yesterday. The sickle on this head's pretty wore out and the, any of the section tips that I broke off, they were just jamming up with that hemp fiber. Think about trying to cut a tow rope with the scissors. Kind of how that was going, so. Came back to the yard yesterday and got a bunch of these pieces fixed up, new sickle sections put on, and then it started raining. Got water in the yard, about seven tenths so far. I haven't looked lately, but they're talking like another couple of tents today. So hopefully that's true. Inch of rain would get us like this close to thinking about putting winter weed in. On all this canola stubble around home here. But shop day today, because we can't really do much outside. Can't move combines home, any of that stuff. So uh, got the uh, TL truck, that new Wilson trailer. Well, newer Wilson trailer in the shop there. When we bought it, it came with six new tires on it and they had ordered six new ones that they weren't in yet. COVID, you know, how that screwed up everything in everyone's lives. Those tires came in later on. Now they're here, well they've been here for six months now, but we're gonna get those put on and polish wheels on the trailer because they look hideous. And put sight glasses in this Wilson trailer today. See what I mean? They've been acid washed a lot and uh, they should be shiny like that, but they're not. So, I know how to fix that.
It never gets old, does it? Shiny wheels never get old. Right, Colin? Shiny wheels never get old? Never get old. Never get old. Time to poke some holes in a trailer. What do you got? You got the deal? Sight glasses, because uh, it's really miserable climbing to the top of the trailer looking to see how full it is. So we yeah. put sight glasses in ours. And at least now I can at least see where I'm at instead of sitting here going, man, this thing is like forever full. <laughs> yeah, too, so stinking tall you can't tell how full it is of the grain cart. Yeah. Too bad we're done grain carting for the year. Yeah. But about 10 loads and we'll be done hauling grain too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we go, I like to put them at the opening of the trap so they show first when they run empty. But this slope goes there. That opening or that opening? So it's different with that third hopper on the back. Yeah, I would almost go, go with one that more that one. way. Then I guess if you'd see, yeah, because the pile for sure is going to still be up over here. Yeah. So, all right, we'll go in that hole right there. Twelve inch space. It's an inch and a quarter, or three and three quarter, three and a quarter would be One. half and five eighths, right? I believe so. Yep. I'll let you do the honors. Oh. Either a really crummy bit or a thicker aluminum than I thought. Alright, now I need to try and poke through the inside one too. My level. It's not my strain. Let's see your level. Wow, the inside's really thin. You can't see light. I'm gonna go pop the tarp open. Ooh, that inside hole does not look centered. Where did the piece go? Did it drop in there? Uh oh. Nothing. She gone. It's inside. So you put some silicone on that and shove it in from the inside? Yeah. I'd like to put them on from the inside because that way they can't fall out and lose your green. Not, not like that would happen, but I mean, it's, what, it's just what I do. Maybe we should have dry fit first, huh? There we go. Good? Yeah, shove it in. Nice. Now I'll shove it in a little further. That snap ring didn't snap all the way in. Let me see if I can work it, work it around. Push in on this, uh, like the north side of it. I really don't want to scratch the trailer up. Why didn't? Like, is the ladder inside the hoppers an extra? Everything's an option. Thanks, so. Poor old guys. Like so did you install all these on all the trailers? Um, I think the white one I ordered with them in it. Sweet. Here we go. 
a look into the inside. 34-ish. Yeah. Double check that again. This is one of those, like, you definitely double and triple measure. 33 and a half, 33-ish and a quarter. We'll yeah. go in that, okay, we'll go in that opening there. Still didn't save it. She got it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of warm. Push on it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.